Hello, my fellow roller booters. It's your friendly neighborhood Guam Tech back again. Doing a different upload today. I have a feeling I'm gonna be adding a little bit more to my channel, which, uh, you know, obviously has been a lot of skating related stuff, but I think I might be adding a little bit more of something I've been getting a lot into. Something I've been uh, really getting a lot into lately, and that's uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Just got into it like less than six months ago or so, and I'm on my way to my first tournament and pretty freaking excited honestly. I've never competed in anything like this before. Uh, take that back. I competed when I was like six and seven years old in Taekwondo, but I don't remember any of that crap. So it's my first time competing and uh, this is my exit coming up and yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm freaking ready, man. Freaking ready. Woo! Beautiful weather. So part of the reason you haven't seen me lately on YouTube is mostly because I have been taking up a lot of my time with BJJ. Again, I'm only about six months in training regularly and it really has been one of the most exciting things for me that I've really taken up in a long time. I feel like I've been doing a lot better physically and mentally since I picked it up. I really felt like I was able to take out a lot of stress and feel a real sense of camaraderie on the mat. And the craziest thing about it was that as a rollerblader, I really found that it really seemed to mix well with the movements that we already do. There was a really quick translation from some of the stuff that we do as rollerbladers, uh, well, at least as far as I do as a rollerblader, translated very quickly and easily onto the mat. And I felt like I had a bit more body awareness and movement control compared to some of the newer white belts that started up when I did. Yeah, so just as a little opinion, I think Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is amazing for pretty much anybody, but if you're a rollerblader and you've been thinking about getting into BJJ, do it man. It's one of the best decisions I've ever made. It translates so well to stuff you've already been doing and it doesn't matter who you are or what kind of body size you are what athletic ability you have, there is a place for you in BJJ. You can see all that stuff and other stories like that, but as far as my jiu-jitsu journey, I realize that I still have a lot to learn and I really can't wait to keep on moving forward with that. You know, this was my first tournament again and I think that there was a lot that I could have done better, but I didn't get completely mauled. I think I could say I did okay, so. I'll go ahead and show you a little bit of my footage and I don't know, let's see where it goes from here. Hopefully I can look back on this a year from now and say I'm, I'm at least a little bit better. So without further ado, here is Guam Tech's first tournament is three matches that he did. Three, three matches. I actually did four, but I didn't film the second one because my phone messed up. Yeah, so here we go. So, getting started, I come in, give the guy a handshake. This is my first time being out on a mat like this uh, in a tournament, so you can definitely tell I'm a little bit more skittish. My feet are moving a lot more. I'm usually more calm. I don't know what kind of push that was. I think he was just trying to psych me out. But uh, you get in here, I'm trying to put my elbow out towards him so he could just doesn't have much to grab, but he gets in anyway. And he's sitting there trying to pull on one lapel and trying to get me down, and man, he just had a lot of erratic movements. You see me go for the single leg there, and I totally mess it up, but regain my guard. Yeah, I decided to put that in so you could see it a little better. I'm pretty happy about the fact that he didn't take my back or my side from that, so... Most of the time, I was sitting there trying to just keep him in what I call the Scott Cook guard, my instructor. Basically keep one hip, or one foot on their hip, and then one knee around them too. Go for the single leg yet again, and actually catches me in the guillotine this time. It was very surprising for me here. I didn't think I'd be able to get out of it so fast, but I think he just tried to switch it up and didn't capitalize. So here I'm just trying to hold on to him. I wanted to try to get him on his back so I could get to his side control, but stuff's slipping out. Couldn't keep a hold of him, but I'm doing a good job of keeping him in front of me so that I can keep him in my guard. You can tell that falls off, give him a little slap. 
start going back at it and I tried to get a really good grab up there on his uh, collar my hands slipped down a little bit and I keep trying to keep trying to sweep him doesn't seem to happen he has a really good base on the other side so I think I probably should have done a better job of closing my legs around him in my uh, close guard but you see he tries to pass the guard there almost gets it but I keep him in half guard <clears throat> tries to go for it again and luckily I'm flexible to keep my knee up and block his leg from getting over me. I throw him back into half, uh, throw him back into full guard. Actually, sorry, still trying to learn all these terms, but yeah, all I really do is just have a grip on him, and I'm wasting a lot of energy sitting up like this. I could have probably sat back. I didn't really know what I was doing at that point. So he's definitely had a chance to get the side control, really push my leg out of the way there. And I didn't really have much to do or anything to grab on to except for his legs, so I tried to go for a takedown. Didn't get any points for it. I'm trying to just get his legs off of me pretty much so that I can get him out of the back mount. And by the way he had my collar, I had to turn like that to be able to get out of his uh, choke attempt. So luckily I rolled out of that pretty well, kept him in... Uh, he kept me in his guard, and I'm doing a horrible job keeping my foot up there and stuff. I should be sitting back, and he's just breaking my posture down. I, Luckily there, I did swing my head around his arm, break his grip off of me. I was pretty proud about that. It's just the little things that you drill to yourself and make sure you keep going for. But here, I was going for a Kimura for some reason in guard, which is one of the worst things you can do. It doesn't you, You're not going to get a good submission. But then, I slip my hands under, go for a double under... And I throw him over to the side, which I was really happy about because I literally just learned that move like two days before this. And instead of holding on to him, though, I lose control of it. Can't seem to keep him on side control or back mount. So we're sitting here fighting for it. Try to get a little throw, even though it wasn't the most, you know, calculated or whatever. But was happy there. We did get to get past his guard somehow. Uh, that's actually one of the worst things that I... And, you know trying to do now but I pass his guard get the side control and man he really had a good way of getting out of there I guess I just wasn't holding on long enough or holding on hard enough I'm trying to keep him up trying to break it break out of it so you know I can have a little more options but he definitely had it stuck in pretty tight there pulls me back down breaking my posture you can kind of hear uh, my coach talking to me in the background telling me I need to regain posture but I felt pretty safe here except for the fact that he had such a good grip on my collar. I broke his grip, and then he comes down, brings me back down, breaks my posture, and really from here it was just a fight to make sure I didn't get submitted, and yeah, we end up getting through the round. He obviously won in points, you know, for my first round I really wasn't too upset about it. I knew I could do so much better, but yeah, I didn't get submitted and he definitely had probably at least a year on me as far as training goes so pretty happy about that one yeah so just to tell you i did end up having a match before this one i didn't end up getting it recorded because i guess my phone just didn't feel my finger hit the record button but this is actually my third match this is my boy Troy, we actually train at the same place with Scott, and I actually was surprised that I was in his weight class in this one. Um, I got weighed on with all my clothes on, so I think I was in a little bit higher than I would have normally been. So no points at all, he ends up pulling me into the guard, and it's always a viable way of starting off a match. And now we're just kind of fighting for grips, and throws me into the arm bar here but luckily I had just learned an escape from it which is tear your motherfucking arm right out of that bitch look at that tear it <laughs> so luckily I learned a defense of that that week go turn him over take his back and I thought I'd have a little easier time rolling him over here but he was definitely giving me a fight for it finally getting turned over get my leg over get my hooks in get those four points I don't even remember how I got four points for that exactly. But he does a really good job of getting my arm off of his neck here. From here, you can tell he's uh, trying to shrimp out, get to his side. So I take advantage of that. And when he loosens up, I just try to take his front, uh, you know, go for the mount. And from here, I'm just fighting with a grip. I have a the part of a cross-collar grip going on. And I'm just trying to keep my base so that I don't get toppled over. 
Eventually, though, he does get his leg over me, traps my arm, gives me the good old roll. So, you don't have any base on one side, you're going to get rolled over. But fortunately, he didn't get any points for that. Uh, I'm doing a really bad job now that I'm watching about keeping my guard closed on him. And here I end up throwing in my bread and butter when it comes to sweeps. You just kick out the leg and trap the arm and roll him over. It's actually a lot easier than it looks. Uh, so I get in there. I'm still trying to go for the cross collar, but luckily he is really throwing me off on my base. I can't seem to just get a good choke in, so I'm trying to just stop him from moving. And he's getting a good shrimp out. He's trying to like keep me off of him. He's opening up some space for me. And again, he pulls the same sweep on me. Traps my leg, traps my arm, throws me over. So, again, no points for him at this point. And I'm trying to get back into feet on hips. I seem to be a little bit more comfortable doing it that way, but everybody seems to just want to go into half guard or full guard from there. I think Troy could tell that I was going for the sweep that I usually do. Uh, he ends up moving his leg out of the way so I can't kick it. And I probably could have rolled him the other way, but I didn't focus on it. So instead, I saw this huge opening by his head and throw my leg through. And this is the first time I've ever even attempted a triangle before. I'm so new to it that I honestly didn't even get it the right way. Here, I thought that uh, I had the full connection with it. And I ended up pulling it backwards. And yeah, I'm not really choking him here. I'm more so just putting a lot of pressure on his neck it's not comfortable and it's definitely not easy to breathe but I'm not submitting him at this point so I didn't get any points for that I think and he's really you know doing a good job of keeping his posture drops me over the side pulls his head out and opens up my legs but I was getting kind of tired so I opened up too um, here I didn't really know what I was doing I should have just went for a regular guard uh, full guard but instead feet on hips again and right there I catch him in a spider guard which I'm not used to doing but it was really really nice to be able to do that out of nowhere and from here I just saw the opening again and stepped from the spider guard into the triangle which my instructor actually showed us the full way of how to do that following week so I throw him into the triangle here. I definitely have it really well locked up. It's the right way. And there he goes. Gives me the tap. Of course, like training partners should do, you give up, you give him a big old hug because it's all in love, man. For real. I really appreciated the time spending on there with Troy. And I could tell, uh, you know, we definitely have a lot more to learn from each other. And yeah, it's a really fun one. All right finally got our final match coming in here uh, don't really know too much about this guy but he definitely had some moves on him starting out you know really getting a feel for each other guy had a it seemed like he was pretty well in control of what he was doing um, he definitely knew how to control my body a little bit more than I was expecting so he keeps trying to pull me down so there was no takedown attempt so I decided to pull the guard it's okay to go ahead and lose points without having to do a takedown. And here I'm trying to go for a De La Hiva guard, but I've only practiced that maybe one or two times. So he really gets through my side right here. You see him put a lot of pressure on my knee. That's my bad knee too. So I was really worried about that. I'm just glad it didn't pop. Uh, ends up getting some pretty good back control, side control, but my coach was telling me to, you know, get back to my back, try to face him here. I don't, I really didn't know what I was doing exactly. I think I was just trying to get him off of me. But yeah, he's doing a really good job of keeping me rolled over. This guy had massive side control. Um, it was a real, real hard job for me to get out of there and make sure he wasn't just smashing me the whole time. So here, I'm still trying to get my legs over. I honestly feel like I'm just kind of flailing. I was really tired by this point. So... Still keeping my legs up in there, making sure that he, his hips can't get past my feet. I was at, actually pretty happy with the fact that he wasn't passing me at this point. He was really worrying me at first, but around this point, I started noticing the same thing that I noticed with Troy, and there was a big opening next to his head. So I throw my leg up in between it and go for another uh, triangle. Didn't get it locked up very well. Again, 
first time ever trying to throw guillotines in this tournament ever in my life and so I really didn't know what I was doing I was just hoping that it would kind of you know catch him off guard maybe I'd slip it in there but here you know I'd been holding on to him now for a good minute and a half I cut through it a little bit but I could tell I was at least making him really really tired it was it wasn't so much after the first 30 seconds or so to try to submit him I just let my head back decided to breathe while I made him work really really hard and he decides to get up and pull me into a leg lock ankle lock and luckily I know a defense out of this which is just get up as fast as possible so that they can't lock your leg down he was blocking me pretty well but luckily I reacted fast enough throws me over to the side he's trying to go for the side control yet again he's really good at getting those feet away from him luckily I twist around enough to be able to get my uh, shins in there my feet try to stretch them out a little bit breaking down his posture again but honestly I didn't really feel very much resistance coming from him from at this point I think he was so tired I was able to really get the sweep off which is what actually I think put me ahead in points he was trying so hard to get out of that triangle that he wasted a lot of energy and I think he just kind of gave up the sweep to me we end up moving to the center again because we were getting too close to the uh, wall there didn't really have a good grip here at all didn't really expect that I was gonna get much out of it so I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the positioning go ahead get the back roll them over there I end up getting my hooks in and from here I'm trying to go for a you know a really good cross collar but I'm not using my wrists to try to you know choke him out I'm pulling on his lapel on the opposite side and forcing my elbow into the other side of his neck so I'm trying to cut off a carotid artery with his lapel on one side and my elbow on the other side unfortunately I couldn't really get a really good base in there my arms were slipping around I couldn't seem to grab anything that was really good there and I knew if I reached too far he'd be able to go ahead and get out of it in some way so I decided to try to reach over maybe try to go for the opposite side and he does a really good job of turning with the choke and breaking out of it and getting into my guard again he goes for another ankle lock and this one I was really on top of I felt it coming I rolled with him and yeah luckily I didn't caught in that get caught in that because that's one of my worst fucking it's one of the worst pains ever for me so time ends up being up they throw the little ball out there and uh, yeah I actually ended up winning I did not expect to whatsoever on this one but apparently that last sweep and a couple of the things I was doing got me uh, racked up in points. So, I just got done with my first Brazilian Jiu Jitsu competition. Pretty beat. My legs are all tore up. Freaking, I can already feel the cramps. Uh, I'm probably going to be having an Epsom salt bath tonight. Honestly, I, I don't even know what to think about it, man. It still hasn't really sunk in that I just got done competing. Um, I ended up losing my first two matches, but uh, I won my second two. Uh, got a submission in the third one, and then I won by points in the fourth one. So I'm pretty proud of that. You know, I didn't just get molly and it's pretty awesome, man. I think that I've really found another passion outside of rollerblading to share and to really involve myself in. And... You know, just like everything I do, it's something that I feel like uh, really does push me to become just a better me in general. There's so many benefits to picking up a martial arts, no matter what it is, but in my opinion, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu just, uh, it, it's so relatable to the things that I've already done all my life that um, I, I really feel like I have a knack towards it, and this is definitely something I'm going to continue with, so... Look forward to a couple more videos outside of just rollerblading on this channel. Uh, you know, maybe if I can actually get my ass up to film and do the things I need to. But uh, yeah, good day, happy times. Glad, glad I could do what I could. And uh, yeah, hope you guys uh, stick along with me, and we'll see what comes in next time. I'll see you later. Bye.